Hello everyone. Welcome. Here to play some more Weathering Waves for a little bit. And then a little bit later we will be playing some Minecraft. So. Let me see what there is to do. close to the next union level. That's good. So... There's a daily quest. So we're gonna do that. Not be close to the last. Let's just spawn over here, I guess. that they find a way to uh, make it so the game doesn't lag like that. Usually it just happens for a little bit and then it's good like I am right now, but it'd still be great if it didn't happen at all. Oh, someone follow? Hello Frost, how's it going? How you doing? Oh boy. It'd be great if it didn't stop to reconnect like that too. <laughs> How's your day going, Frost? It's a thingy down here. surprised to see you here, Frost. I didn't think you would ever <gasps> notice me. What's going on over here? so much. You're saved, thank you. Especially Rover. If you weren't here, this could have been a for formidable fight. Visit us at our camp when you're free. We should express our gratitude in our own way. Okie dokie. Give me the chest. Our efforts paid off! Indeed. Let's see, there was a quest over here. You doing well today? Do anything exciting? Oh. I walked right past it somehow. It's underneath me, so maybe there's a cave. Yeah, well, I remember it. come forth. Whoops. While I remember it, need to this. There we go. 
Okay, let's get back to this. Yes, there must be a cave down here. Hello, little muffin guys. shadows. That was daily quest. Yep. So now, let's see, young man's request. Hit the challenge at the North Gate. We can do this. I really hope that stream can hear me. I swear, if there is a problem, like I almost always run into, I would be upset. I don't want a broken stream, please. Let's see here. Yeah, my microphone should be, be picked up, so hopefully that's all good. Okay. Uh, if we go to the guidebook. What else? <clears throat> hey. Leveled up. that one guy is up there or something the top of this building maybe hello what happened I wanted to get a quick break in but ended up dropping some of my packages into the lake uh oh I don't know how to swim can you help me fish them out of the water if you got the time Sure thing. Let's see. I had to guess we're gonna use the levitate. Oh, never mind. Here you go, sir. Don't drop it again. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I know better not to take a breather by the lake next time. Okie dokie. There's a challenge up here. Oh. Uh oh. You charge right here for a second, I guess. And up we go. Okay, let's see. Wait, pavement. Uh oh. Okay. Trying to get to it's over there somewhere. Well, that was close. Don't want to touch the ground. Okay. Now that we're up here. Let's 
Getting pretty close to where we want to go. Almost there. Well, let's try this again. Cherish every gain. Oh no. Burst. Gosh dang it. This How did it go? Anyone hurt? Let me check on you. Oh, it seems I've accidentally activated cutscene. Phew. You're still in one piece. Of course I am. You're overreacting. Okay, okay. Anything new about the tokens? You told Shixia of your findings in Desorak Highlands in Kishin So those Fraxidus goons are here in Jinjo now? Things are more serious than I thought. I wonder what they're up to. Beats me. I've only ran into some bozos before. Those wackos are hell-bent on making their own resonators. Said there's no right or wrong when it comes to resonance powers, and everyone should have the right to them. They use mechanical manipulation to integrate parts of tacit discords into human bodies, seeking power with such gruesome acts. I cannot bring myself to understand them. That scar guy you mentioned sounds like he's on a whole other level. How did the fight go? He, um, it seems he didn't intend to kill us. I would even say he was pulling his punches. I don't know what he wants from us. But Madam Magistrate may have intended to hint something by letting us run into him. I still can't wrap my head around what happened in that village. I went over the files. That case is ancient. It was dealt with and archived way before our current magistrate took office. Resting? What happened to the village in the end? Don't worry. The crooks were brought to justice and most of the villages were relocated to new settlements. But I didn't find anything in the files about that little girl you mentioned. Ooh, a mystery. Maybe it's someone they were trying to keep under wraps. So Scar really did take her away. Hmm. It seemed he did not hurt her. I agree. If only we could capture him. Ah, uh, I'm so lost. Why did Madam Magistrate point you to Chi-Chi Village anyway? What did she want to tell you with that? And that Scar went there to tamper with the site and mislead you with fake clues. Or maybe it's the other way around. <sighs> you mean the Fraxidus was planning to tell you something about what had happened in that village? Then our magistrate intercepted by leading you there before they could? Hmm. She knew what was going to happen. Hmm. Madam Magistrate knew they were going to lure you to the village, and she knew they weren't planning to kill you. Her token was a warning that the Fraxidus had their eyes on you. Plus, even if Scar really tried to kill us, we'd still beat him. How so? Uh... Jinnah. Jinsuo's way of hospitality, remember? You mean she's got someone looking out for you? Or maybe she prepared other means of protection. 
And vice versa, since the white has made her move. Uh, I don't think I follow. Nothing in particular. The legendary figure who changed Jinjo's history? A looming war with the resurrecting Thernodian. And the Fraxidas acting in the shadows. If all of these have something to do with your true identity, then... Who exactly are you? That is a good question. Uh, I'm your friend, the one you know is Rover. <laughs> yes. He will always be the Rover we know. No matter what. That same old TD-eating, echo-munching Rover, all right. Come to think of it, the sundial's the last token we need to work out. Mr. Mortify said it's an intricate puzzle box. Madam Magistrate might have had a real message inside. We learned about the time at the Academy. Yes, it's the twelfth Shichen of the day, represented by the symbol Wei. Now we have the Shichen of Wei and Vermilion Bird. We should be able to solve the puzzle. Indeed. So, Rover, you gonna try it now? Symbols on the larger disk represent time. And we need to align the correct symbol with this pointer. It should be... <coughs> Excuse me. She's end of way. Ah, it's working. And now, symbols on the smaller disk represent direction. And we need to align the correct symbol with this pointer. It should be... We have Teal Long of the East, White Tiger of the West, Vermilion Bird of the South, and Black Tortoise of the North. According to the clues we've gathered, it should be... The Vermilion Bird of the South? Wow, you really solved it! So this is the last message in the Magistrate has for me. This is... The location of Jinsuo's Grand Library. Wait, I don't think it's something we're allowed to see. Quick, Yang Yang! We should turn around! We solved this together. Come on! Just go ahead and see what's written inside. about the Grand Library. I see. The Grand Libraries in Huanglong <clears throat> are renowned for their vast databases, holding valuable information about the regions they represent. Their exact locations are kept confidential, but it is believed they hold answers to all questions one could ask. The Grand Libraries are vital for Huanglong's data security managed by the regional sentinels, accessible only to the magistrates. They're rarely open to the public. Kind of like a big piggy bank inside the city hall, data-wise. Well, I thirst for knowledge, so maybe we can learn something important there. Yes, you'll find the most comprehensive and accurate information there. Rover? If you need to visit the Grand Library in Jinjo to find out who you are, I think it suggests two things. First, there is a strong link between your past and Jinjo's history. Second, you must be a really significant person. So you're super important to Jinjo, maybe even all of Wang Long. Wow. I think we stumbled upon a real big shot when we didn't even know it. It would seem that way. What's the matter, Rover? Something wrong with the sundial? It's the city hall at the center of Jinjo. It is Jinjo's political center, and it's also located at the city center, if that's what you mean. 
the city hall was built when Jinjo was established. It's a popular landmark for locals giving directions. Why do you ask, Rover? Hmm. I'll need to go somewhere on my own. See? What did I say? Covert ops. Real confidential stuff going on. Hmm. Come on, Yang Yang. It's just a one on one meeting with Madam Magistrate. What's the worst that could happen? Relax, relax. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Hey, are you really trying to stress her out? I guess you're right. Still, please be careful. We'll be waiting for you. Alrighty. Uh, I guess accidentally opening that has saved me in this challenge. Somehow, I just barely survived this challenge thing so far, <laughs> by a stroke of luck. <laughs> Let's see if I can somehow make it without messing it up. Oh no. Okay. Oof. Hey, I did it. We're here. Brother, I noticed your successful challenge record. Keep it up. I hope you can conquer another track. An unexpected discovery. Totally didn't do that all by accident. Okay, let's see here. Let's track this. And is there anything I can upgrade? Level dash and up. This one's not. Let's see if I want to switch this with anything. Okay, let's upgrade this then. And upgrade like crazy. There we go. should be fairly decent. Okay. Let us go to the Grand Library. We go. I like that there's attention to detail with the glass with it being kind of scratched on the sides where it closes. I 
Okay, let's go in here. Before I do that... Synthesis. Oh, I see. Oh, see me. Going on in. Top left corner of the map carries a highlight mark. This may indicate the location of the puzzle. I heard a low grumbling noise. Ooh. That was fast. As I expected, that must be the entrance to the database. Interesting. Look at all this water. Part of the building is submerged. I should be able to find the hidden path underwater. It seems I have a puzzle to solve. Guess I'll check on the mechanism in the middle first. Why would they intentionally... Flood their room. Gather five tones to align in tune. The bell shall guide your path. Find keynotes to determine tone. The archive shall be unmasked. I see. The control panel here does look like a musical instrument, but five music notes seem to be missing. So to gain access to the database, I will need to recover the five missing notes stored on those sono discs. Interesting. What is that sound coming from behind the symphodi? Well, I suppose we can take a look. This must be one of the missing notes. Now, how do I connect it with the symphodi? There we go. Part of the score holder just lit up, as I expected. The drum over there seems to have unlocked. Ah, see that. Okay. A bell just raised out of the water. So that's what it meant by having the bells guide my path. Interesting. shown up. I must have solved the first puzzle. It seems I will need to look for more sono discs in there. All right. Seems like this madam magistrate the likes to uh, make me the do things. Hall. No, they are not real. There must be some kind of digital simulation. It seems they are the guards here. Interesting how I'm not hearing sirens, despite having destroyed every one of them, apart from the simulated tacit discords. It's unusually quiet in this place. Multiply 44 with 4 thirds for the frequency you seek. Find this note in the west, while the prophet is beyond reach. I suppose it's telling me where I can find the next sono disc. I think it mentioned a direction. What does that last sentence mean, though? That sound. It's coming from the west. Oh, is it now? This is the second sono disc. I should bring it to the symphodi.
I could literally just jump over that, but I'll be patient. Wait for it, I suppose. <coughs> the water went down a little. The water level just dropped again. There's another two drums. One in the east, and another in the west. I may find more sono discs down there. Okay. So this is the right way to go. I'm being fed just enough information to work out the puzzle. This does look like Miss Magistrate's doing. Why it got so quiet for that part? <sighs> the drum on the other side is unlocked. Guess I'll go check on it before I leave. Just to be safe. Another bell just rose up from the water, but it's still locked. I'll need to connect the passageways first. All right. Oh, let's go in here. The music I just heard. It must be the sono disc. Here it is. Time to deal with the guards. Jinjo City Hall is the political hub, while the Grand Library holds vital data. Considering how I just took out all those guards, this place is oddly under protect. I've retrieved the third sono disc. Time to head back. This place is not guarded very well. The discovery. Another platform. The bells will lead my path. Huh. I'll go work out the passageways. Okay. Must be another sono disc. This is the fourth missing note. Someone's watching me. Almost huh? there. One more to go. Now the water is all gone. One last note to go. Interesting. Oh. This is the last one. They've prepared quite the welcome for me. I've got this. Gale storm. Oh boy. the last sauna disc ready. Time to go back to the Symphondi. See, is there any other way to go? No. for this one over here was why did it do that
Well, I guess I can't be down there anymore. Now I should have access to the database. Oh, well, I solved the puzzle. Now uh, this looks more like a library. So this is the Grand Library. It's said to hold the answers to every question imaginable. I'm not seeing anyone here. I guess the Magistrate is yet to arrive. Well, it wouldn't hurt to browse the archives for a bit as I wait for her to show up. Okie dokie. feel like she's probably gonna sneak up on me. Thank you for leading the way, Rover. Oh boy. What a magnificent place to set foot in. Extensive, exhaustive. Oh, how I want to carve the place inside out and blow it all to shreds. How's it going, Scar? <sighs> Thought you'd seem a bit more surprised. I wonder why. Oh, here they are. <sighs> so you've laid a trap for me. Uh -ha! Interesting. Do you really think you can trap me here? You will not escape. What a shame I can't stay and play with you a bit longer. Till we meet again, dear friends. You're not going anywhere. Oh, did I get him? I hope so. Be really cool if I did. Oh, hello there. Disperse. Huh. What the sounds? Break. My time to shine. Boy. Oh boy. Not doing great. Ow. Oh boy. Don't worry, I've got this. Watch out. Oh boy. Drum beat strong, ill fortune gone. Ja. Swift and resolute. The hour is upon us. I see your weakness. Guide my blade. No mercy. Ooh, oh boy. Again. Did I get him? 
Is he supposed to be the black sheep? Did you just offer yourself up to be my prey? Oh boy. <laughs> now, it's just the two of us. Still away that irrational anger of yours. I just have a friendly reminder for you. Seeing is not always believing. Why are you so sure they told you the truth? Don't jump to conclusions so soon. Are you so stubborn? Oh boy. Oh no. Why can't you place some of that trust in me? Or do I have to crush you to make you behave for once? Swift and resolute. I sent your weakness. Moment of resonance. Don't worry, I've got this. Drum beat strong, ill fortune gone. How's that? Playtime's over. Oh boy. Swift and resolute. No hesitation. Ooh, I like this. Oh boy. Too bad. <laughs> so you knew I was following you all along, huh? Mm, I knew someone was watching. My Elysium only breaks under coordinated attacks from both sides. I can never get rid of all these pesky little helpers around you, can I? So you've joined hands against me with Miss Magistrate here. It does hurt my feelings, you know? You're always so, so popular. Are you all right, Rover? How do you know my name? Of course he is. How could I ever have the heart to hurt him? Consider my moment of failure a gift of sincerity, Rover. I trust you haven't forgotten our conversation earlier. Choose me. I'll tell you everything you want. I already know everything. Huh, I see. So she made the move before I could, and told you all of it already. Then as the winners, would you be so kind as to tell me how you set me up? That's a good question. Suppose the Magistrate was playing some 5D chess. She gave me all those tokens to investigate. It led me to that village where I met him. And then he thought that he'd have the upper hand. So he tried to follow me. 
That ended up leading him into a trap. So let's see what happens. It takes a little while to load sometimes. And now I have retrieved the magistrate's message for me from the puzzle box. But it only points me to the Grand Library. There's no meeting time. Something... I've solved the puzzle. The discs have been rotated, and the two symbols are now glowing. With this glowing light, a shadow is cast on the two other symbols. The Black Tortoise of the North, north to the City Hall. Oh. The time reads, the Shichin of Cho, and the wee hours of the morning. She's pretty smart. Question is, was that before it's or been after? Three days. We both made it on time. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Jinshi. It brings me great joy to see you, Rover. How do you know me? <laughs> Did something happen? An emergency forced me to leave. And I only had the time to prepare some tokens for you. Please, pardon my lack of hospitality. Hmm. Does the emergency have to do something with the... Fraxidus? Yes. The Sentinel of Jinjo is currently absent. Aren't they supposed to stay in their domains? Correct. The Sentinel's guide and guard humanity is a symbol of our civilization. When a region's Sentinel goes absent, chaos is bound to ensue. As this news could lead to civil unrest, please keep it a secret. I'll keep my lips shut. Jinjo's Sentinel Jue is being held captive by the Fraxidus. I had to postpone our meeting and put all my effort into finding its whereabouts. I heard you can resonate with the Sentinel. Yes, our thoughts are connected, to a certain degree. I can sense his memories, feelings, and surroundings, though not very clearly. Hmm. Unfortunately, I haven't. I can feel Jue is in danger. The good news is, I have figured out the culprit behind all of this. It's a scar. Precisely. The Fraxidus plans to advance another lament and cause disasters worldwide. Overseer Scar had several objectives upon infiltrating Jinjo. To track you down, to test your strengths, and to make you join their cause. To abduct Jue and to resurrect the Thrinodian in advance. Why me? They must have discovered your value. Likely from one of Jue's prophecies. If you join them, they'll gain significant power. Should you refuse to join, the Fraxidus will likely want to eliminate you, so you don't get in their way. That's fine. I'll beat them either way. I have a plan to apprehend Scar. Once we capture him, the Fraxidus won't be that much of a threat to you for the time being. If you are willing to lend us a hand, I will ensure your safety during our cooperation. All right. Count me in. Thank you for your trust, Rover. Speaking of which, you seem to have already gathered a lot from the tokens. Hmm. Obviously, I have to go with the sugar pearl option, as my name is Sugar. 
Sugar Pearl points to the past epidemics and disasters. Impressive, Rover. And I learned more about my identity as I deciphered the tokens. The threat Jinjo is facing is far worse than meets the eye. One of the Thronodians will soon be reawakened. What are the Thronodians? They are the enemies of human civilizations, born from the dark side of our collective consciousness. We must defeat them to protect all of humanity. We have been doing our best to prevent the disaster, but the Fraxidus is accelerating the Thronodian's revival. Hmm. And it has something to do with me, yes? Indeed. You have defeated the Crownless and absorbed its echo with your bare hands. It is the tacit discord that embodies the concept of warfare. Resentment of the Fallen, Fright of the Ignoble, those are the emotions that lay ground for its birth. The Crownless is a tacit discord that possesses powers from the reviving Trinodian. Jinjo is a border city with an unbreakable will and a strong spirit of resistance. However, we also fear the constant wars and loss of life, and the Thronodian can prey on that. You, however, you were able to defeat and absorb a Thronodian-related tacit discord with your bare hands and resonate with other TDs. Meanwhile, Huanglong's records mention a hero with similar powers who saved our nation during the Thronodian War. He is mentioned in literature dating back to Jinjo's establishment. Could I be the same one? To uncover your true identity, this could be a helpful lead to pursue. Do you believe that person I could be related in some way? Yes, based on my own deduction and the prophecies of Jue. Hmm. Jue, the gorges of spirits. You mean the unfinished statue of Jue? I remember something when I saw it. I see. Do you mind letting me know what you remembered? Since it's related to our sentinel, I might be able to help. I told her about the bits and pieces of Rover. my memory. The memories of which you speak. As I mentioned earlier, I can resonate with Jue, our sentinel. Your recollections... They align with what I've witnessed in Jue's memories. Interesting. Yes, I do remember seeing something similar. I believe it had truly happened in the past. In other words? In other words, you may be the person mentioned in our records. The unwavering presence by our sentinel side, bonded by an unbreakable trust. I don't reckon Resonators can live that long. Resonators tend to live a longer lifespan, but it is indeed unprecedented to live hundreds of years without any sign of aging. So many mysteries about you remain unsolved, and your age is just one of the unknowns. Hmm. Um... How did I end up losing my memories? Sorry, but I don't know. Jue's last piece of information pointed to the Northfall Barrens, where you should find the Thronodian. I pray you will find your answers there. A Thronodian is resurrecting, and our nation is in grave danger. This reminds me of the Thronodian War all too much. Perhaps. This has something to do with your mysterious appearance in Jinjo. You mean I showed up to protect Jinjo, like the historical hero did? Not really. I don't plan to believe in a hero showing up out of nowhere and protecting us. I'm just presenting whatever lead I have about your past, as I know it is troubling you. I want to help you, and that is all there is to it. Thank you for considering lending us a hand. Your help is much appreciated, but please, 
do not feel obligated because of the information I shared. They are my people, and the responsibility to keep them safe should fall on no one else but my own shoulders. I am saying this because I have faith in my abilities, and even more so in the bravery of Jinjo's soldiers and our people. You deserve to make your own decision about this after uncovering your true identity. I appreciate everything you've done for us during the past few days, and perhaps even longer ago. Once it all settles, I am ready to accommodate and assist in whatever future decision you make. You can leave Jinzhou, or the entire Huanglong if you wish. If you ever need me again, you need only ask. Let's keep this a secret between the two of us. How does that sound? Suppose we could do that? Well, that was nice. Hey, it's for the follow. Scar, you are now under arrest How are you doing? for committing multiple felonies in Huang Long. Do you have anything to say? What do I want to say, huh? While I'd love to tell you another story, I guess that's not what you want to hear. Uh, yeah, I don't think she wants to hear that. See you. Hey, thanks for the follow, Catherine. Sorry if it took a second. I had to... It's hard for me to see that sometimes. <clears throat> Whoops. Let's cut to the chase, Madam Magistrate. I'm getting bored already. Very well. You will answer only our questions from now on. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? Hmm. Let's see. Why did you kidnap Jue? A sentinel such as Jue can predict and correct future events. It gets in our way of achieving our sublime vision. We merely wanted to topple the set future built on lies and take control of our own destiny. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? Hmm. A sentinel such as Jue can predict and Oops, correct I already future did this events. One. We merely wanted to. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? Well... Why are you obsessed with reviving the... Th Threnodian? The Threnodians. They hold the key to our ideal. Together, they will bring us the promised true lament. And we will embrace the new world that is bound to come. Sure. Why not? What do you want to know? Hmm. What on earth is the lament? What is the lament? Disaster? Curse? Some kind of punishment? <laughs> People only see the surface. The lament brings death, destruction, and countless reverberations. Reverberations that will be reflected, overlapped, and interwoven during the lament. They will be our salvation. The only path to a new life form and a new civilization. Hmm. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? Why were you following me? Our goal has always been the same. We want you. Want you to join us. Hmm. Why is that? Why me? Uh, forces battle over you, causing all this strife. And yet you remain unaware of your own worth. Are you really that naive? Or are you just dense? Whatever. Our interest in you is not affected by such 
trivial matters. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? Well, I've already asked everything. I'm done with them. You kidnapped Jue and revived the Thrinodian, accelerating the next lament. This is proof enough that you are the enemy of Jinjo and all humanity. Stop dreaming you can force Rover to join you. He is our honored guest, and I will not allow any harm to come his way. <laughs> How confident you sound. As the Thranodian's resurrection approaches, Jinjo is barely holding on. How much longer do you think you can keep up this facade? That would be a good question. Thank you for your concern. We have crushed your schemes once, and we can do it again. I have one last question for you. Abducting Jue, stalking Rover, and setting up an ambush in Chicha Village. You couldn't have accomplished that all on your own. Unless... Unless I'm not the only overseer in Jinjo, right? <laughs> I have answered all your questions with full honesty. I don't mind you knowing because it won't make any difference. You can try to stop us with all you have, but it's too late to change the course of history. And I love this voice so much. Now, I have one question for you. <clears throat> you seem convinced we caused the disappearance of Jue. What if I told you there was more to it? Would you be curious? That depends. About Jue. What else do you know? Come closer and I'll tell you, Madam Magistrate. It's a secret for your ears only. He's plotting something. How dare you! Madam Magistrate, I do... No. It can't be. Did they kill it or something? Shocked, aren't you? But there's more. What if I told you your sentinel had made this prophecy a long, long time ago? Your all-seeing sentinel abandons you now of all times. Need I say more? We're merely adding a touch of extra fuel to the fire that will soon consume all. Rover, care for a wager? I know you've been searching for answers about your past and... I've got news for you. Oh boy. Watch out. You are one of us, the Black Lambs, and you have been chosen to join us, ushering in the new world. Once you discover what you really are, you will come to us with no hesitation. Not so sure the about that. The awaits your arrival with open arms. And I look forward to that day in sincere anticipation. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I just put in jail. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> what did Scar tell you? Sorry, Rover. What he mentioned about our Sentinel is... highly sensitive. I cannot disclose it yet. Not before verifying it myself. Is it a ploy to create distrust among us? Or... <sighs> I must first find our Sentinel to uncover the truth. How important is Jue to Jinjo? Jue is the guardian Sentinel of Jinjo. It is responsible for assisting Jinjo's magistrate in administrative affairs. While I am the final decision maker, without the assistance of Jue, I cannot guarantee I am always making the best choices for my people. Hmm. Why are you so sure Jue is always right? 
Jue can predict the future, and up to this point, every one of its prophecies have been proven true. While justice may not be universally agreed upon, its decisions have consistently served the best interests of Huang Long. Hmm. Perhaps it intended to let you make your own decisions. For that, I suppose we will have to talk to it in person to find out. In addition, Rover, Jue once told me to deliver a message to you, to the Awakened One. When raindrops fall upstream, please head to the Northfall Barrens and seek General Jian of the Midnight Rangers. So I'll need to find this General Jian. I suppose so. General Jian is currently battling another TD outbreak in the Northfall Barrens, which will also serve as our front line against the Thronodian. But the ongoing war has made it a very dangerous place to go. Since you won't need to go there right now, not until when the raindrops fall upstream. I know you're here for clues about your true identity. And I don't want you to leave the city empty-handed. Have you heard about the Black Shores, Rover? I have not. It's an organization shrouded in mystery, with a secretive membership process and members who usually keep their identities hidden. Upon your awakening, one of their members discreetly contacted me to gather information about you. But please don't worry. The Black Shores developed a special lament prediction system and has established partnerships with countries worldwide. While operating in secrecy, they are not an extremist group like the Fraxidus. They have been monitoring the situation in Jinjo to provide assistance when needed. Thanks to their extra help, my meeting with you went smoothly. This Blake Bloom is their symbol. The Black Shores members usually wear it on their person. Um, wouldn't that make them easy to spot? Yes, I suppose it does make them stand out. On the other hand, they presumably possess extraordinary abilities to stay anonymous. This photo is yours to keep. I will return with Jue shortly, and the Black Shores may be worth your try during this time. All right. Something's happening. Oh, hello there, Jue. Rover, are you all right? Hmm. I had a flower on. I saw something. I was wearing the Blake Bloom. I see. The Black Shores must have a deep connection to your past. Since you are likely being closely monitored by the Fraxidus now, I suggest keeping an eye out for the Black Shore members. They could prove to be your valuable allies. I'll do my best to find Jue and tell you everything I learned from it once I return. This is my promise. I'm counting on you. Yes. Please leave it to me. I suppose I'll take my leave. Sanhua. Yes, Madam Magistrate. I will be going on a temporary leave. During my absence, please help me handle my responsibilities in Jinjo. Understood. Should I continue protecting that rover? No need. Both Chan Li and I will be away, and there will be more than enough paperwork for you to handle. Is Lady Chong Li leaving for the capital? Please pardon my intrusion, but he just faced an ambush in the Central Plains. What if... Regarding that incident, we tried to warn him about the Fraxidus, 
but they were more cunning than we thought. If he runs into another powerful enemy like Scar, he'll eventually have to confront them on his own. Sanhua, you can place more trust in Rover and me. Understood. He just worries. Not a bad thing. My lady, no matter what happens, my sword is always yours. Both the interrogation and my appointed meeting with Rover have already finished. Scar only needed the two of you as his audience. We already knew what he wanted, and we let him have as much. Someone knew. He decrypted every message we intended to convey. It's only proper you meet him in person, as the one who crafted those puzzles. Such intricate puzzles. I guess only Rover has the patience to solve them all. No detail is too small. I'm sure he understands. Besides, not seeing the opponent heightens the thrill of the game. If everything goes according to the prophecies of Jue, I will meet him in person eventually. So, what did our captive from the Fraxidus tell you about Jue? That'd be a good question, but we're not going to get to hear it. That Jue had predicted I will have to oh, fight it one day. Never mind. A fight that will shape Jinjo's future. Well, that is unexpected. But you don't seem all that surprised, do you? Can't say I am. I had suspected as much from our previous conversations, and the message it left me. His words only confirmed it. Where was it when you last sensed its presence? It was... in Mount Firmament. Unlike Jinjo City, that mountain is still resting in stillness. The place where the first people of Jinjo lived. And where Jue first manifested before us humans. I see. I'll find Jue, and bring it back as soon as possible. Our enemies could have planned it as a trap. We have a bigger goal to focus on, remember? I understand. I will not let anything or anyone disrupt the peace in Jinjo. Would you let what you heard from Scar sway your determination? No. He cannot ever turn me against Chue. If anything, his words only confirmed my theory. I am the Magistrate of Jinjo, appointed by the Sentinel itself. The prophecy speaks of a decisive incident for Jinjo's future where I will be a key player. The fight between me and Jue is only a precursor. My job remains unchanged. I will fulfill my duty as Jinjo's magistrate with my own judgment. Is that your final answer? A single strand's neglect births mountainous upheaval. You taught me that, remember? The safest option is for me to go in person. Very well. Since we are already mid-game, I will let you decide our next move. Can't this wait. time, I shall be a pawn in your hand. Can't wait to meet this mystery person. Remember, I will always stand by your side, in this crisis or any other. Am I a player, or a mere pawn? I suppose there is no difference at this point. No matter what, I will do what I must. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
be challenged with that. Um, I want to do one of these. Go fight something quick. After we get this done, um, switch to Minecraft. To be honest, that went on kind of long. I was hoping it would be a little shorter there. Oh yeah. So I need... To go absorb an echo. Here's some. to absorb, huh? Ooh. Another puzzle. I did this perfectly first try. That's kind of cool. There's no stopping good luck once it's on your side. Okay, maybe if I can go up here and be that thing, it'll have an echo for me to absorb. Press in the resonant tower, huh? Guess we can try to do that next time. Okay. What's going on? Upgrade time. Spectro damage. Always be happy to upgrade characters. Hey, it's 
also have the tokens. Cool. Actually. Uh, everything that's red I can delete. Okay. See what we got for trophies. So I'm going to guess the other stuff needs more time to regenerate and whatnot. Uh, let me see if we can summon anything. Yeah, I don't have enough. Too bad. Well, I think that is where we'll wrap it up or the Wuthering Waves, and let me throw this up real quick, we'll be right back as we switch to the next game. <clears throat> Hopefully everyone's enjoying the stream so far. Again, thank you Frost and thank you Catherine for the follow earlier. Appreciate appreciate it. And the Minecraft up. Okay. So, Minecraft takes a second to launch. So just one moment. Okay. And we will be playing 1.20.6, so the latest, latest version, I guess. I played a little bit um, offline, so the world you guys are going to see is going to be a different uh, going to be a world I've already played a little bit in, so there's already a few structures. <clears throat> then switch this take away the brb and here we go let me just fix the aspect ratio oops settings where is Uh oh. Oh, where's it gonna be? Is it then a new thing now? No. Need to get rid of the black bar. Oh, that's tiny now. Close. Where would it be? Things are different because I've got some um, fabric stuff installed. That way things look a little nicer. Let's just go full screen. And that should fix it. So there we go. Okie dokie. So, welcome to my little world here. Got my just basic little startup here. And right here I am slowly building a tower. 
So it's gonna go down here, get my little pupper, and I got like a little ring that's gonna go all the way around. Thinking about putting a whole bunch of like theme things in here maybe. Then last time I was playing, I was trying to do some mining. So let me get some food so I'm not low on health anymore. Don't you guys just love these shaders? They're, it's amazing to me. I love it. Makes the water look pretty too. I like that it's like blue but you can actually still see through it. I like the effects when I'm under the water too. It's a lot nicer. Where it's all like uh perfect pitch. Where it's kinda like uh almost like a dusty kind of underwater look. Wavy, blurry. Instead of just the like pitch blue where you can't see anything. So I prefer this. Yeah, I forgot. I finally planted some plants. Don't think anything is ready yet. So, the music is kind of loud. So, let's turn that down just a little bit. Oh, that's still, oops. It's still kind of loud. And it really doesn't seem like it's changing. Why is that? Uh, maybe turn my master bug down to 80. Slightly better, maybe. Okay, so we're gonna grab a pickaxe. Plenty of torches. While I'm up here, I want to make the axe and a bucket. Okay. Uh, food, food, food. Don't think I have a steady supply of food at the moment. So I'll just take the watermelon and make some watermelon seeds. Put those in here. And I'll be fine to eat the rest. Okay. Well, let's go into the mine. See what we can find. Eventually, I'll have to figure out some way to make it uh, a little nicer to travel down. It's hard sometimes, though, so. I also like that I got this little mini map up here. It lets me. Uh, Helps me with my navigation, that's for sure. A lot easier than having to uh, press uh, F3 to see that stuff too. Oh no. Okay. Eat just a little more. Put these in our offhand. Yikes. Oh, there's diamonds down here. There is a lot of monsters down here, too.
Oh boy. Ow. Okay, they hurt a lot. Not exactly the best at combat. Don't have a lot of armor at the moment. My little hidey hole. Monsters down there. Ooh, there's glowberries. Excited for glowberries now. Okay. Well, there's a bunch of them there following me. Died, I guess. Oh, there he goes. Sucks to be him. Okay, let's see. Let's grab some of this iron. Never get enough of that. Oh, hello there. Okay, that's not cool. So they stop spawning. Did that. Hello, zombies. Let's see. Looks like there might be a lush cavern up there. That's cool. Stuff in there. Get this axe ready, because. Don't stop. Okay. Yes, I know I'm eating the rotten flesh. Spot those things around. I kind of want to clear a path to get over to that. Ow. Try poison. No. Lucky. Okay. Uh. 
light all this up. Easier for myself. Oops. Yeah, we got a lush cave. Got the pretty flowers. Lowberry. A bunch of stuff. Thank you. Oh, there's axle bottles. Ow. Oh, that's unfortunate. Back down to go. To be fair, it was my fault that I did not heal myself back up all the way. But hey, there's axle bottles down there. You know what that means. We can go grab one. The skeleton isn't immediately where my stuff is. I always hate when I die. You have to rearrange your inventory. Okay. I like this down here. This is really pretty. Oh, hey, redstone. I need that. Take some of this stuff with us. Who is walking? Ah, that's weird. Redstone. It's just lucky I found this down here. I needed redstone. I have projects I want to make. Over there. Stone. Okay. Coal back there. Oh, 
start with this? Oops. Is this just generated weird or what? First thing I'll probably do is redstone. Let's make some automatic food farms. That way I don't have to worry about that. Okay. This place is really cool though. I've never actually been able to explore one of these before. A zombie. Ow. Skeleton here, too. Ow. Got him. There's so many resources out, resources out and about in the cave here. Certainly makes my life easier. Especially the redstone. Okay, well I'm here. Let me get a bucket of water. You know when you might need that. Deep in here. Everything's really cool. See, that leads into a normal cave. Bunch of redstone. Right side, we're getting lots of redstone and other resources in here. Okay. Let me grab that. That. Start all the way back here. They won't be needed there. Redstone down there, don't want to quite go down there yet. Enderman. Power. 
I want to get a whole bunch of those flowers for decoration build. There's any more around here. Oh, a little baby axe wattle. This would be a good place to find a bunch of them. Oh. It would appear I've been spotted. Stone ones. Oh, hello. Okay. There's no skeleton around. I hurt him. I don't see him though. Oh, for a second I thought there was a creeper. Super pretty though. Is this clay? Ooh, it's another good resource too. Man, I'm falling in love with this lush cave. It's got everything I need. up there higher. Grab those. I don't really feel like building up there to get them. Ooh. Don't know how that skeleton didn't kill me. That encounter. Okay. Bunch of flowers in here, so that's cool. Um, can always go back, grab those flowers later when I actually need them. Of iron. Don't think I'll have to worry about uh what was that? What was that knocking sound? I don't like that. Over here. Oh. Okay. Pretty soon, I don't think I'll have to worry about using um, stone pickaxes. two skeletons I don't want to do that about to say about to mess him up but he's got some boys to back him up I'm not 
geared up to battle with four of them. Okay. I guess the axolotls were the ones making the stepping noises I heard before. Ooh. Is this cool? Geo. It's got a little twinkle sounds. The salt. There we go. So, let me get some crystals. Oh. Guess I need iron for these. It's so musical. to this later. It's, uh, outside too. Definitely need a whole bunch of this stuff later. So I already have a perfect idea for building this. some of this too, so I can mess with it. So that's the way out. Um, just that. And that. Easy peasy. There we go. Out the obvious. How to get in. Okay. I don't want to hit you. You're swimming like right in front of me. I don't want to hit you by mistake. Go. Okay. Well, let us head back towards the surface. See if I build up right here. successful haul here. 
mainly the flowers that I just got, diamonds, the redstone, and gemstones. Make this more obvious. There we go. That was a nice little voyage. I need to find a way to like, make some stairs down or something. Okay. Is it raining? What? I like how I can actually like hear it like hitting the ground above me. That's cool. And I love the stormy weather with this with these graphics. It's cool. I don't know what it would look like under the water. Cool that you can hear it. I like that a lot. Hello, zombie. Oh, hello. You tap them now. Okay, time to mess with some bots. Can't do anything with that. So interesting. I can do something with these ones. So let me do that. And you zombies, get out of here! And put more bamboo down. Stop them. That will help. There's some here too. This side, they haven't infiltrated from this side like at all. It's really just the other side that I have problems. Seems like my spruce tree grew. So did the acacia. Yes, I think that's what this one was. So before this, I decided to stream this. I went around and I grabbed trees of almost every kind. So looks like I got the acacia growing. Oak. Got a whole bunch of jungle everywhere. Birch trees grew. The question is... Did the dark oak grow wherever I put that? I don't remember. Where did I put that? somewhere off to the side over here. That'd be somewhere. Or 
wherever it is, I'm gonna guess it did not grow yet. Otherwise, I'd probably be seeing it. I don't see the dark oak anywhere. Some squiddies. Perfect. Excuse me. I need you to give me your ink sac. There we go. I wonder if there's a way to breathe the squids so that way they make more. Somehow I should be able to go find the dark oak easier in a second. Uh, let's put, let's see, eyeballs, bones, string, gunpowder, clay. Uh, those blocks in. Very sad. Bit in there. I've been running out of space for things. That, 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 that. That. The rest I'm probably going to care. I have a whole bunch of dark oak. I got the. Uh, but that in here, that in here, and a whole bunch of these stone pickaxes, and I don't need them anymore. Oh well. First thing, diamond pickaxe. The rest of the diamonds we're going to keep for now. Can't even do that. Eventually, I'm going to need to make some food. Let's see my ovens. Uh, they are basically empty. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. So, eventually I'm gonna need to play stuff. Make it look spiffy. Hello, pupper. How are you? Doing good. Uh, technically, I can get rid of that cobble up there now. Tell. We're going to have some light boring. The tower itself is going to be like a darker color. And then right here, eventually I'm going to set it up. I'll have some lava streams going down. So that way it'll light everything up as I'm going up the stairs. So that'll be cool. <laughs> Put this in here.
many more carrots now. Okay. So eventually, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do the farm. But I'll have it here probably. Cool whenever I get that done. Let's see, now that I have wheat, I could try to bring cows, but I don't really have a place set up for them yet, so I don't want to do that. Uh, take those out, that, that, food stuff in here. in here. So we are now out of food, so I'm gonna have to think up something for that soon. Uh, otherwise... Let's take some of these dark oak logs and these root slots. Let's see. Which looks better. Burger, nice triple. Okay. I think I know what I want to do. Down here. Say, like, right here, probably. It'll look nice once I put that all the way around. Gosh dang it, there's a fly in here. I hate flies so much. Upper, I hear you. Why are you barking so much? I don't get it. No. I might have to raise this roof by one more. But I don't know yet. I might... No, I think the 3x3 three three is probably fine, actually. I forgot. Once I actually redo the ceiling and everything, it'll look better. So, I'm going to say... It's going to be, like, stone here. If I walk in here, it'll be, like, wood-themed, hopefully. Dark. I hear you, Pupper. I hear you. Grab some more woods. I can figure out what kind of wood combination I want. Ooh, the stars are out. Red tea. Always lovely to see those. Let's get some oak. Birch. That's all I really need. I don't think I want to be doing. See what will look better. Hmm. I 
think it might mix. How do I want to do this? I think if I mix the spruce and the oak, it might look good. I think it'll look fine. So I'll do one of those down. Let's see how well this will look. Do like a checkered pattern. So grab oak, fill it in. To double check that I absolutely like it like this. Upper, oh. oh, I right, hear you. Oh. Yeah, that looks good. I'll do it like that one. Fortunately, I think the spruce looks really good being in like the corners like that. Yeah. That one part of it done for now. I'll have to go and farm wood later. The question is what I want to do for the walls. I can make them all just be like stripped logs like that. Or I can try to do something else. Not quite sure what would look better, but who knows? I'll figure it out later. Maybe I'll have chat help me figure it out if I ever get more people in here. All of that away. Hello there. Seems I need to fortify that more. Oh what? Well, I never looked. Let's see where I put my dark oak tree. Nice morning to go out. So I don't need to find it. Go on the birch saplings. I think it's, I don't remember where I put my dark oak saplings. All the grass around here, they're going to probably blend in, too. There's a bit over there. Oh, come up here, I dare ya. Oh, sheep. Uh, 
That's not Derek Oak, I don't think. right there. I don't think I went farther out than that. Um. Hmm. So Keisha here. I did oak and birch just kind of randomly. Bruce was right next to me. So if the spruce is here, where did I put the dark oak? That's spruce, alright. I would have imagined I would have put it close. Oh, if I can't find it, I can always just go get more. Oh. Pick up the top guy's just like, yeah, keep walking. We'll mess you up. <laughs> Uh, I'm not prepared for them, actually. I don't really want them around here. I've got a few arrows I can try to use. Let me get some wood and iron to make it feel quick. Okay. All that in there. Okay. That's that shield, that bow and arrow. Let's see what we can do. Didn't move, did they? Where are they? Where did they go? Oh, they're over there. Okay. Try hitting one from a ways. Yeah, hey, got him. Killed him. Doubt I'll be lucky enough to do that again with the bow. I think we'll try. Okay. Wow. Okay. One more. Hmm. Now I have bad om- wait, what? That's over an hour? I thought that was only supposed to be a few minutes. I guess it's a good thing there's no villages near me that I know of. I'll have to be careful. Actually, I can get rid of this right now if I want it. Water there. Then right up the mountain here. The vines hanging out of that tree over there. Oak up here. I don't 
see my guitar talk anywhere. There we go. No bad omen. Got the vantage point up here. See about everything. Grab the rest of these. I need food. I'd rather not slaughter the animals. It's like, I don't know if I went this far to plant anything. It's weird. Oh, oh, I didn't know there was such a deep hole there. I'm probably just going to have to accidentally stumble upon it when... Either uh, clear out the grass, or I uh, find it as a tree grown up already or something. That's fine, we'll just get more. It'd be nice if I could just have it round. But... I suppose it's fine for now. Down here. Uh, grab spruce. And let's cut down some of the oak trees. Let's jumble. small ones. I don't know how the tree can only grow one block high, but okay. Clear it out. sharp tone for a second. water around here somewhere. Also sorry if uh, I end up streaming more Minecraft and 
more stuff is done, but I didn't do it on stream. Sometimes I... Sometimes I don't always feel like playing this on stream. to leave all major things for stream, like if we go exploring or anything. I'll certainly try. So feel free to take any ideas for you guys' selves or if you like anything I build. Just trying something new with this one to try to make like a uh, tower that's kind of like a, like a donut area that goes around it. Thought it would be neat. Better pick up something with uh, haste and fortune and efficiency and hopefully mending, maybe. Bruce left. I do like the design though, to have the like, stone and everything and then wood. I think it would be a good combo. I just don't know what I want to do for the balls yet. Might just do them all, be like the stripped logs, maybe not. I don't know yet. Okay. Yeah. What was I doing? This chest. Don't remember. Don't remember, so it wasn't important. me. This is the first time you guys get to see my map. So I visited a little bit, not a whole bunch. Down here was where I found my dark oak. There's a chasm, lush key, geode, everything. I explored up there yet. Maybe I should do that. Uh, yeah, maybe I can find my dark oak trees with this. No, I don't see it anywhere, I don't think. Too bad, worth a shot. Okay. Let's go try to get some wood. Okay. Actually, there's a huge oak tree over here, if I remember correctly.
when you try to fix a creeper hole another one shows up and blows it up again actually I know how to fix this easier help me get river resource I have too much of too so all we need to do is fill this with cobblestone Well, wasn't expecting that. Got one more stack, and that should be enough. enough dirt. Subtly try to cover it all up. unfortunate that that all happened. What was this? Secret little area. Nothing in here. Oh. Oh, that tree don't come down. I hate these gosh dang flies. They're driving me crazy. Spruce. 
Let's have that. Okay. Hello, oh, Underman, are you right behind me? Oh. Okay. Let's get down here. Oh, what are you doing in my tower? I swear if you took anything. Looks fine. Okay. Did he put a dirt block down here? Really? Sorry, Miss Janderman, but that's not what I'm trying to do. This is where the water was. Blocks. Go back over here, go best in. Go. Um, so the corners. The, the spruce. Double check though. We'll start digging from this so that way. He will curse. My gosh dang pickaxe broke. Whatever will I do? Okay. Let's check and make sure I did this correctly. Yeah, it is. I like how symmetrical it all is. Makes it easy to do my job. That way for quite a while. Where's the water start? to get well, where all this water is quick.
I believe. Okay. Made good progress today. We got a bunch of resources. Made it most of the way around the bend with my wood. This was a good choice for the wood floor. Around this bend, it moves back there. So, this right here. That was a perfect place to stop the wood. I ran out of spruce right there. It's perfect. So then it's just like one small part left. So that shouldn't be too hard. Um, just in case, let's go cut down the spruce tree or replant it. That way it can grow. Oh, I do other stuff another time. Okay. Broke. Time to go make another. Okay. Be cool when I get a bunch of mending tools. That way I won't need to. Uh, Keep making a bunch of wasting resources. That's all. Just wait for all of that to come down. Hopefully it'll give me all the saplings I need. A whole bunch of wood. And I think we'll pick up that water that I put down earlier. I should make like a little moat around my area. That'd be kind of cool. Hopefully, all the sharp points I need will fall. Okay. I got all the sharp points I need. Replant this bad boy. 
plus some more. How wonderful. Okay. Trying to get some more saplings. Another big one. hearing something. Holy moly, it already regrew. Talk about a speedy recovery. Why do you bark so much? Stand. What is it that you need? You need food? and we'll be done. Got yeah, there's more water. Oh, I broke again. Grab another fake egg. Blocks. No wasted blocks here. It just enough to finish it. Perfect. Now the wood's all done all the way around. 
I'm going to left, but I can think of them to do now. Be making the door frames. Go down here. Experiment. I wonder. Okay. Do this to wood with a torch on it. Torch will stay. Good to know. This is the last one. bunch done. I think that looks really good. So, next time, I need to figure out what I want to do for the walls and the ceiling. Then out here, I need to change the center pillar. I think I know exactly what I want to want to see is I think what I'll do is I'll have these black um, tile ones for each like ground level maybe and then like distance here it'll be like that block and it'll be like the fence version of it for each of them and then I'll have lava that goes between and lights everything up I think that's how I'll do it Pretty sky out again. Look at that. That's pretty. Well, let's see if I can get a good photo. Ooh, moon's looking pretty cool too. really cool. I like that. 
I didn't know it could do that kind of almost like a clipsy look. Uh, okay. Well, that, everyone, I think that we will leave it off here for today. Because I don't know what else I can do within the time span. So. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed the weathering waves on Minecraft. I definitely be doing more Minecraft stuff here eventually. Because I want to make this tower. I have cool ideas for it. So with that, hopefully you guys all enjoyed. As always, uh check out the YouTube. That's where almost all of these VODs will end up at some point. Don't ask me when. It'll happen. I guarantee it. So and if there's any other games you guys want to see me play, just let me know. So, hopefully you guys all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.